<laughs> These diet fads have been around for a long time. Oh, That's the forever. truth about it. It's like mm -hmm. there's nothing new under the sun, right? In, in, like the 80s was crazy for diet fads. Yes. I actually took some clips of some stuff in the 80s. You want to hear some clips of some some of the... It, 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 it's diet fads and in, in the, the craze around fitness. Yeah. Really came to prominence in the 80s. Yeah, it really because took I, hold. Yeah, who was that one guy, the juice man or whatever his name was? Remember that like one old guy who used to like, he was selling the juicers way back in the 80s. He was like 104 years old and he'd do like 3,000 3, push-ups yeah, in a day. Yeah, what is that guy? Jack LaLanne? Yeah. Jack LaLanne. Jack yes. LaLanne, yeah. Jack LaLanne's juice machine. That's right. Mm -hmm. Jack LaLanne was one of the first like hype men for fitness, for health, for your a holistic look at your body. And Jack LaLanne was telling us way back in the early 80s, late 70s, for some of you that were alive back then, I was 26, um, in the late 70s, that he was saying that you really have to look at your body holistically, mm -hmm. right? And there were a lot of people that really took to this fitness craze a hundred percent. Like, and in the eighties, everyone was doing cocaine. Every, you know, a lot of money flowing around, and people wanted to be fit and trim. Yeah. No longer was the rotund cherub look in style. Now you had to be fit and skinny. The models started getting rail thin. It was just like a, it was a whole thing. The eighties changed the way that we look at fitness yeah. altogether. The seventies and the eighties. Jack Lalanne was at the forefront of that. And then came guys like Arnold Schwarzenegger and Jazzercise. And oh, yeah. The videos, Jane Mi Fonda. Mickey Mouser size. Oh, Jane, right. Jane Fonda. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mickey Mouser size. <laughs> <laughs> There's another cease and desist <laughs> from Walt Disney Corporation. <laughs> Walt Disney Corporation kindly asks you to appear in court and go fuck yourself for using our name in your horribly unfunny comedy podcast. <laughs> So I took a couple of clips, and what do you want to hear for? You want to hear Arnold? Here's okay. Yeah, this is Arnold. This is from a very famous movie called uh, Pumping Iron. Oh right, right. I watched that documentary. Oh yeah, he is Arnold is like off the chain here. He's like he has no governor on his mouth. This is long before he came to prominence in in the culture of in the lexicon of American culture. Yeah, this is really him just off the boat trying to make his way uh, as an actor and as the world's strongest man. The greatest feeling you can get in a gym or the most satisfying feeling you can get in a gym is the pump. <laughs> I love that creepy music in the background. <laughs> Doo -doo 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 -doo. The pump. <laughs> Brian's Boner Boot Camp. <laughs> you can have a pump there. The best feeling is the pump. <laughs> if you can't get it up, we'll pump it up. Don't worry. <laughs> Uh, penis pumps are cool. I've never mm -hmm. used one, but I've seen them. Yeah. Yeah. They're like this round. <laughs> and then you stick it on your dick. And then it just like sucks it up like a balloon. <laughs> Brings the blood. Yeah. I wish we could do that live on air, but I'm pretty sure the YouTube algorithm will not reward yeah. me for the penis pump live on air. No. Probably right. not going to reward me for the word penis pump. Let's say you drain your biceps. Blood is rushing into your muscles. And that's what we call the pump. Your muscles get a really tight feeling, like your skin is going to explode any minute. You know, it's really tight. It's like somebody blowing air into it. There's not music. <laughs> <laughs> explode. I can see the your guy. Your muscle exploded. Yeah. It's like your muscles are about to explode. Literally, blood is going to come out of your bro eyeballs. God. It's such a great feeling. Yeah. Right before you explode, oh. it's heaven. Yeah. And the guy, I can hear the music guy, like when they're producing the show and they're doing the music. I can see the guy all high on cocaine. <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> it's like a balloon getting up, getting higher and higher. Into your muscle. It just blows up and it feels different. It, it feels fantastic. Jesus. Like symbol. I know it's only symbols. <laughs> Accents. Accents. You can see my band director right now. Shut up, clarinets. Accents, drums. Accents. <laughs> symbols. <laughs> Give me more creepy organ. More creepy organ. Shut up, saxophone. Sit down. <laughs> It's as satisfying to me as uh, coming is, you know, as uh, having sex with a woman and coming. Coming here, I'm coming there, I'm coming on you, I'm coming on me. I don't Arnold. Even know. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a shower of jizz everywhere. <laughs> oh, I've really gotten into working out lately and it doesn't feel like that for me. <laughs> it doesn't? No? 
<laughs> I'd pretty much feel like it's just an orgasm uh, factory the second I start lifting weights. I'm like Russian blood, yeah, and muscles. My, <laughs> just literally, it's like someone pressed my prostate. I just yeah. start uncontrollably <laughs> spewing cum. <laughs> I hate working out. <laughs> it's the furthest thing from an orgasm. I'm like, oh god. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I hope it's a good podcast on today. <laughs> so can you believe how much I am in heaven? I'm like uh, getting the feeling of coming in the gym. I'm getting the feeling of coming at home. I'm getting the feeling of coming backstage when I pump up, when I pose out in front of 5,000 people. I get the same feeling. So I'm coming day and night. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I am literally a factory of semen. <laughs> I'm coming on stage. I'm coming backstage. behind stage, backstage, <laughs> yeah. in the back of the taxi. Oh! <laughs> Where to, sir? Hold on one moment. Ah! <laughs> okay, I'm good now. Ah! <laughs> I'm literally coming back here. <laughs> Every time you take a right-hand turn, I come all over your back seat. <laughs> it's so weird. It's such a weird yeah, analogy. It is. I mean, it's terrific, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, I'm in heaven. Oh, good you, well, Arnold. good for you, Arnold, I, I have to say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess that manifested itself in other ways since he had the child out of marriage. Yeah, you know, affair. Arnold, uh, yeah. <laughs> he was just coming so much. That's it just thing. happened. Yeah. yeah, it wasn't that he he intended to get anybody pregnant. Mm -hmm. he, he was coming at home. He, he was some, coming at the gym. Pumped some iron. He pumped some iron and that maid walked in the room at the right time. Yeah. <laughs> she got pregnant. <laughs> oh, no, I've come all over you. <laughs> Uh, Jazzercise was the thing back yes. in the eighties. Jazzercise oh, yeah. was a big, big thing. I think they still have jazz Jazzercise, don't they? I think they do. Yeah, yeah, I think I've seen Jazzercise clubs. Actually, I've driven by them. Yep. Yeah. Jazzercise that'll keep you fit and smiling, sugar. Swing that arm. Oh, there you go. Smile for heaven's sake. Yeah. You ready? Now find that beat. There it is. Oh yeah. That's good. Ho. Now strap, release, contract, release, contract, release. There you go. Contract, release, contract, release. Coming, 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 coming. <laughs> ah! <laughs> this is the female version of this. Yeah. <laughs> Everything was so sexified in these like That's in these true. videos. But you had to remember this is the early days of these fitness videos. So they, I think that they needed yeah. something to entice the watcher to to watch this because no one really knew what was going on. They're like, wait, I'm gonna have a video at home where I'm just gonna start following you. But I think the men bought these. This is like some lady named Susie something. Uh -huh. She's you know she's an older lady. She's certainly in shape. She's very skinny, but I, you know is, is she the <laughs> is she the twilight of anybody's eye? I'm not really sure. I don't know. The Probably twinkle. yeah, twinkle the twilight of somebody's eye. <laughs> Excuse me, she is the twilight of some people's <laughs> <Yes>. eyes. <laughs> I got something in my eye. Uh, it's Susie from Jazzercise. <laughs> I got something in my eye. No, it's just me, Arnold. I'm right behind you. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm coming everywhere. Smiling, smiling, smiling now to the pelvis. Front, back, front, back. Push it, pull it, push it, pull it. Yeah! There you go. Now your favorite thing. The hips, sugar. Come on and shake that cute little booty of yours. Whoa! I can yeah. imagine having sex with this lady. And front, and back, and front, and back. And now pelvis, you love this. Swing and lift and right and look. You broke my dick! And now it so so bad. And now <laughs> soak. soak. Let's all rest for a moment. Let's all soak. <laughs> we're not having sex. We're jazzercising. <laughs> we're doing Susie's tape. That's right. <laughs> and left and right and left and right and in and out and in and out. <laughs> oh, thrust. my God. Not I thrust. thrust. Not thrust. <laughs> <laughs> what did you say that one time? Uh, you had like, um, what was it that we were talking about? I wish I could remember this. and I'm not going to spend all, all the episode. What was it that you said something about the ejector or the um, – remember we were talking about something? <laughs> Somebody said something on a clip and you were like, oh, that's an ejector or a projector? <laughs> like a thigh projector? And I was like, a thigh projector? <laughs> what is that? <gasps> no, but I did talk about that movie with. It was called Perfect, and it was with uh, Jamie Lee Curtis and John Travolta. And they oh, were, that movie's crazy! That was, <laughs> yeah, they are part of like a sting drug operation being run through the gym. Her camel toe is yeah, literally yeah. half of that movie. <laughs> Eating and, in shorts, yeah, and his balls are, are swinging yeah. everywhere. <laughs> yeah, you want to watch a movie with a lot of ball swinging? <laughs> He's got the shortest shorts on, uh, and his testicles are hanging out half the half of the. Yeah, she's half got the movie. like the thong aerobic. Oh, yeah, thing. and and I mean just camel toe, right? Her nipples are all showing. I mean, it's just like a yeah. super sexified. 
He but they called the bad guys in the end <laughs> from the what, gym. Because they're a drug ring out of the gym cell. Well, I mean, I guess a drug ring. I guess a gym is as good as any place to start a drug ring. <laughs> if you to start a drug ring, start it at the gym. People want to lose weight. Yeah. <laughs> Cocaine's going to be worth some money there, huh? Oh, uh, God. Ow! Ow! <laughs> If somebody did this in bed to me, and someone did, I think one person did one time. I mean, they were like, the gobble. Oh my God, the gobbler. Uh, the I gobbler. called her the gobbler. <laughs> Here we go. Feel that beat. We're going to play a little bee ball now. You, me, and all of us jazzercisers together. Is that like a Here rip off of the Harlem Globetrotters? Oh, yeah, that's song. a rip off of the Harlem Glo- Globetrotters. It's like where it's almost, yes. but it's not. And let me tell you what you cannot see about this video, but may be <laughs> obvious to your ears, is that all the she, she has only men that are behind her, uh-huh. like two, three, five men, whatever it is. Only men in this entire promotional video, only men behind her. And so obviously they're trying to sex up this whole video, right? They're trying to make it, make her seem sexy Mm -hmm. and the video seem sexy. I imagine so that, you know, men would buy it. That's my guess. Or that women would buy it thinking that they'd be more appealing to men. When this particular part of the video comes on, (laughs) black men show up and it's the only part of the video where black men that I saw that were black men show up, Right. But the innuendos are crazy. It's like it's really like Susie's <laughs> Susie. Susie's predilections She's are clear amazing. here. Yeah, once you go black, you <laughs> never go back. And Susie's all about it. Yeah. Oh yeah, I gotta strut your stuff. That's good. You take it out, Dad. In, uh huh. All right. You take it out, out and, and in, in and out <laughs> and in. Is that twelve or thirteen inches? <laughs> out and in and holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> She is loving her, these guys behind her. She's just oh, like yeah. flirting with them the entire time. Yeah. I actually watched some of the actual video and this part of it, there's like five songs. They're all like horribly stereotypical, right? It's like the Harlem Globetrotters. Then there's like some bad rap song and some art, smooth art. <laughs> she brought out jazz. a rap? <laughs> oh, um, it's like a, it's, but it's not a rap. It's like a, like a, like a rappy type beat, right? In the back of her. <laughs> okay. And she uses real music. Like she used, you know, you just heard what's, uh, what's his name? Chris, Chris Cross, Christopher Cross. Yep, Christopher. Yeah. She uses real well, I thought music. you were interjecting that into it. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> you thought I interjected Christopher Cross <laughs> into Susie's dancer size video. <laughs> No, but you know, I could I have, mean, but uh, that that wasn't for me. Christopher no. Cross goes well with everything. Sounds great to me. And I do it again. That's nice. Come on, a little dribbling right here. Way down, you take it up and back. Ah, uh-huh, take it down. All right, all right. Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Give it all to me, buddy. <laughs> Don't be scared back there. <laughs> Soak it up. Now, oh, baby, do it. You got to do it with us, yeah. It's fun. You're good. Feels good. Okay, now's the time. Oh, you got to get okay. up and boogie with this, honey. Yeah. Oh, you got to yeah. find that boogie body. Okay, that's good. Looks good. Feel the beat. Um chicka, um chicka, um chicka, um chicka, um chicka. Um, now take it to the right, the left. Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> this lady is a fucking banana. <laughs> Cocaine oh was a God. hell of a drug. <laughs> Cocaine is a hell of a drug. Yeah. I just gotta tell you that. Okay, let's listen to uh, one more. This is Susie again, I think. Uh, okay. Sexercising it up. This is a little something to cool you off, I think. I've got these two cute guys behind me, and you'll never guess what they want me to do. Hold it! Uh, oh. <laughs> Hold it! <laughs> Stop for a moment of soaking. That's right. Hold it! I just see two dicks in her hand. <laughs> Look out. They want to be seduced. Can you believe it? Whoa. Yeah. Hug it. Hug it. <laughs> I'm bringing this to Brian's Boner Boot Camp. Absolutely. <laughs> I want to be seduced. Oh, yeah. Uh, 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 I can't believe this is an exercise video. <laughs> this is 
<laughs> this is porn is what this yeah, is. Yeah. Right. <laughs> this is Susie living out her every fantasy yes. in a leotard <laughs> in front of two super sexy hot men. <laughs> <laughs> oh, by the way, I mean, anyway, come I on, find your scared. pelvis. I know you've got one and it's okay to move it for heaven's sake. <laughs> Uh, thanks, Susie. Thanks, Susie. You got a dick now. Use it. Come on, John. John's like, I actually prefer men, but okay. I got the job while I'm here. I might as well. Oh, my God. No. Yes. Yeah, do it again. He likes to be real cool. They both like to be real cool. Do you? I hope so. Oh, look out. Look out. Look out. Look out. Hug it. Now, from the top. Look out. Here it comes. Uh-huh. From the top down to the bottom. Hug it. Hug it. Oh, oh, oh. Now, you can't tell me that that doesn't feel good, because I know it does. Oh my God. Just take your time. Take it easy. Yeah. Wow. Now, here we go. Have you got a couple of cute guys around the house? Then grab them. Come on. And touch. And touch. And touch. And touch. And touch. Or a couple of cute girls. That's okay, too. <laughs> now, from the top, baby. Hip. A hip. Ha-ha. Head arms out. Hip. A hip. And... Boom. First of all, the sound so- <laughs> the song sounds like Mr. Belvedere. <laughs> it sounds like, it might be like Louis Armstrong. It sounds like the Mr. Belvedere <laughs> opening. <laughs> First of all, second of all, what the fuck is going on in this video? Yeah. Third of all, I couldn't. I didn't even want to pause it because I'm just like, I'm just gonna let this roll because this is entertaining in and of itself. I'm just surely gonna get a copyright claim on this yeah. one, but who fucking cares? I don't even know what song that is. It's, who is that? I don't know. Does kind of sound like Louis Armstrong, doesn't it? For sure. I mean, wow. Now, Unbelievable. You've got a pelvis now. Use it. Here's the point. I think. Here's the bottom line. Be, Use your pelvis. Get, get Kiss. Some, yeah, if your sex life is suffering, get some old 80s workout videos. <laughs> and come to Brian's Boner Boot Camp. Yes. Yeah. If you want to get that boner longer and stronger. <laughs> uh, wow. I don't know what we just heard, but yeah, it was I, awesome. I, I, Whatever. Susie yeah. was having fun. God, I find some gems on the internet, don't yes, I? Yes, okay. you do. Uh, and by the way, I took that, I took the these clips from... Chrissy and I tried to do this episode once before, like, I don't know, months and months ago. Yeah. But this is just an example of sometimes things don't turn out so good the first time we do it, mm-hmm. and now we revisit it, and we're like, right. oh, okay, now we know what to do with it, right? Yes. Because the first time, I think we just were both like, well, that's what? weird. <laughs> <laughs> what do we do with that? <laughs> but now we know how to do it. We just throw in Brian's Boner Boot Camp, that's and it's all well, better. That's I right. mean, and, uh, and hey, get it on the ground floor now. My, you got to get it while the getting's good. Yeah. <laughs> Here's the point. We'll kid. just need to recruit ten more people. <laughs> ten thousand dollars. I'm gonna send you some old leggings I got in my closet. Ten thousand dollars. I'm gonna send you. You mean some. magic leggings? Do you want? <laughs> do you like this TCB T-shirt? Yeah, magic leggings. <laughs> if you buy ten thousand TCB T-shirts now today and get sixteen people to buy ten thousand TCB T-shirts, you're gonna make a million dollars. Have a TCB T-shirt party. If you buy now, we'll throw in one of these collectible stickers because we only made seven. (laughs) Oh, my gosh. Here's the point, kids. Be careful what you get yourself involved in. Mm -hmm. Someone starts trying to control the way that you think or act or they don't want you to see other people. They just want you to hang out with them. That's a high sign that something's going on, including in relationships. That's true. Could mean that somebody's uh, somebody's trying to control you. So... (laughs) Could mean if someone's trying to control you. It could mean that someone's trying to control you. <laughs> Wisdom from Brian. I'm glad you broke that down. <laughs> I probably should have thought of that one a little bit better before I said it out loud. Yeah, but when you're trying to fill an hour worth of content. Anyway, we want to thank Squatty Potty for being our sponsor in November. The good people at Squatty Potty are giving you 20% off any Squatty Potty product. So please go to squattypotty.com slash TCB. That's squattypotty.com slash TCB. Squatty Potty will change your shit in life. I swear to God it will. It does. I've I've owned one for eight years now. Eight yeah. years, eight, nine years. I don't know. However long it's been. It's been a long time. Two houses ago. Three houses ago. I mean like 10 years because I feel like you had it at your old, old place before I met Jeff, maybe. Yeah, because I had one and then you got one, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, no, so maybe 10 years. A decade. Yeah. We've had Squatty Potties. 
And we love the people at Squatty Potty. They're such good people. They are. There's lots of information about why scientifically it makes sense to do that at SquattyPotty.com slash TCB. But here's a here's just just take it from me. This piece of plastic or whatever kind that you get will change your life. Mm-hmm. So you must go get a Squatty Potty. Give them away for Christmas presents. I have before. People think it's a it's a gag joke, and then it changes their life. Then yeah. they're like, "Oh my God, I I can't do without my Squatty Potty." <laughs> it's a it's so simple, and it just makes you feel so much better. So go to SquattyPotty.com. Slash TCB, would you? And go, uh, tell them TCB sent you. <laughs> Remember the old radio commercials? <laughs> yes. Tell them TCB sent you. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> I don't know why I say that. Uh, and you can go to tcbpodcast.com if you want to find out more about Chrissy and I. All the audio and video are right there from the website. So go ahead, go there, your one stop shop for everything TCB at the commercial break on Instagram, slash the commercial break on YouTube.com. Subscribe, like our videos, comment, rate and review us on your favorite podcast platform. You know all of the deals. It helps us out such it helps us out so much you don't understand. So we give this content love, lovingly and willingly to you every couple times a week for absolutely free. We just ask a small favor. Like, rate and review and use our sponsors whenever you're in the market for their products. Please and thank you. Okay. Well, there we go. <laughs> Another sacred cow thrust. slain. Yeah, thrust. Thrust. No, thrust. thrust. <laughs> Open your pelvis. Close it. Open. Close it. Wait. <laughs> Wait. Are we having a soaking party or is this eighties jazzer size? I'm not sure. It all sounds the same to me. <laughs> because if you were soaking, you'd have to tell somebody what to do, right? Yeah. Jump up a little to the left. Right. Roll to the right. right. <laughs> harder. Harder. Faster. Faster. Can you imagine how odd that situation would be? Uh, what about yeah. the poor woman in that situation? Yeah. Who's just got a dick hanging out inside of her <laughs> like okay what do i do now i moved my magic underwear to the left for this <laughs> oh you know how it goes one more sacred cow slain okay chrissy i don't know what else can we talk about today i think that's it All right. Brian. i love you i love you best to you best to you best to you out there in the podcast universe and until next time as we always say bye, bye.